Hey, welcome to Volrath University. I'm Chef Rich, and we're here today to talk to you about the Volrath in-chamber vacuum pack machines. So first, let's talk about why we call them in-chamber machines. In-chamber machines mean that we take the product, we place it in a vacuum bag, and we place the entire bag inside the chamber and close the cover. Everything is under a vacuum. This is different now from the out-of-chamber machines, such as, say, the food savers, where the product lays outside and the machine clamps down on the edge. So that's why we call these in-chamber machines. So the Volrath uh, in-chamber machines, these are great products for extending the life of foods, both fresh and frozen. Uh, they do an excellent job of security, securely storing product as well, so nothing spills in or spills out of the bags. They do a great job of marinating, and they're also used in sous vide cooking. So when you want to cook sous vide, you will uh, vacuum pack your product in the bag. Now both of these units do feature the premium Bush pump. This is a German-made pump that's very high quality. In the world of vacuum packing, the pump is everything, and this pump is rated as the best. They both offer digital controls. They have a dual seal bar. Each unit has the dual seal bar. And what I mean by that is each bar has two independent seal wires. So on each bag that's packed, you will get two independent seals, extra security in the seal. They also have two pistons. Now the pistons underneath the seal bar press up evenly and securely so that each seal is a premium high quality seal. Both of these units offer a two year warranty and they are ETL rated for safety and sanitation. Okay, so let's start by talking about the VP12. We call it the VP12 because it has a 12 inch seal bar. And what that means then is the opening of the bag or the bag size can be up to 12 inches. Now we can use multiple bags, say a six inch bag, as long as we make sure we don't overlap the edges. Okay, so the 12 inch unit is a time only unit, meaning we set the time that we want the pump to run or the cycle to run. Now we can interrupt that time by pressing the vac stop button on the front if we see on the gauge that it's at the pressure that we want. So that's a nice feature to have. We can also adjust on the VP12 the seal time. Now bags come in different thicknesses. This is a boiling bag, so it's a little bit thicker versus say a normal storage bag. Well, we want to run the seal time a little bit longer on the thicker bag and maybe not as much on the thinner bag. So adjusting the seal time is also a very nice feature to have. Lastly on the VP12, we'll talk about the pump conditioning program. Now, when we're vacuum packing liquids, vapor can come off of the liquid. That vapor then will get into the pump and it will actually damage the pump over time. So if we're vacuum packing a lot of liquids in a day, we recommend that you run the pump conditioning cycle daily. If not, we recommend at least once per week. Okay, so that's the VP12. Okay, so now let's talk about the VP16. So just like the VP12, we call the VP16 a 16 because it's the 16 inch seal bar. And just like the 12, we can use those smaller bags as long as we don't overlap them along the seal bar. But now this unit has two seal bars. We have one in the front and one in the back. So while we lay the product along the seal bar, if we put product in the front and in the back and they overlap in the center, that's fine, just we cannot overlap anything along the seal bars. Now the VP16 we can operate at a time unit just like on the VP12 and we can interrupt, interrupt that cycle just like on the VP12 by hitting the stop vac button. But we can also operate this unit to a percent of pressure, a percent of vacuum. Now the percent of vacuum is really nice when we're dealing with items that are more delicate like fish where we want only maybe an 80% vacuum. So we set it to that 80% when the unit reaches the 80% vacuum, it automatically goes into the seal mode. So a nice feature to have. We also have liquid control on this unit. What that does is as we're vacuum packing liquids either in soups and sauces or a product with a marinade in it, as soon as the unit senses some of that vapor coming off the liquid, it automatically goes into seal mode. So again, a nice feature to have to not only preserve the quality of the food, because we're not taking off any excess liquid off the food or any excess vapor, but also help preserving our pump. Vacuum Plus. This feature on this unit is a really nice feature to have, especially when we're dealing with large quantities of product. So as we put larger quantities of product in the bag, we can use the Vacuum Plus feature to make sure that we get all the air out of the bag. So the way the feature works is we'll set it to 99% vacuum, and then we can set a delay. And the delay is nice because the unit will maintain then that 90% vacuum and then seal when the delay is over. Soft Air. This is a nice feature for delicate items, like say again, fish or um, something very light. 
What soft air does is it controls the amount of air we let back in to the machine after the seal cycle has ended. If we let the air in too quickly, what can happen is the bag can collapse onto the product, and if there's something sharp, say as a bone and a steak, it can pierce the bag, or again, if it's a very light product, the product can be tossed about. So soft air is a nice feature to have for those two types of product. Okay, in addition then on the VP16, we have 10 presets that we can now set all the features we've just talked about based on the food type. Also, don't forget about the pump conditioning program. We offer that again, just like on the VP12, when liquids are involved to dry out that pump and prolong its life. Also on the two units that we have talked about here today, we include a maintenance kit, which includes extra oil and supplies for maintaining your seal bars. So for more information on either of these two models, please see us online at ballrath.com. <laughs>